hi guys i'm pretty sure i'm live and okay <clears throat> Wanting a beer, sir. There we go. Just had my kids' teeth all over it, as you'd expect. Right, I have just got to uh, pause wherever it's gone. Good volume. Thank you. Next, that will do. Hi, oh my god, my computer's too far away. Hang on. Oh my god, I need to zoom in. Seriously. Nil, nil, Sari, is that how you pronounce it? Hi, hi, Wendy. Um, I think. <clears throat> uh, okay that'll do that'll do that'll do okay so today's plan as you probably saw from the title um is i wanted to keep it really simple to be perfectly honest so i quite fancy doing a watercolor jellyfish hopefully you can hear me Can you just say yes if you can? Right, water, paper, Oh, I've spelt spectrum wrong, damn it. I've just realised I've spelt it wrong in the title and I don't think I can change it now, so it's going to have to stay like this. Which ain't great, but... Cool, okay. Um, so I'm just going to wait for a few people to come on, but I've chosen, I think... I might pick out a couple more. I'm not 100% yet. Um, but I'm pretty sure I've picked out, uh, same as my channel name, Bonita. Right, I don't need that. Just need that. Let's shove it on the group. If I just do all this while we're waiting for guys to show up, then it just saves me doing it when people are finally here. I keep forgetting they've changed the spectrum to wild group. Right, one more, and then um, we shall start. Not we. Actually, no, if you want to, grab a pencil and paper, because you don't have to paint. <clears throat> but... You can, um, you can sketch along if you want to. If you've got any quick watercolours you can pull out, then you're more than welcome to paint along. Up to you. That is the worst screenshot they've got. <laughs> okay. So, the phone needs to go on silent. As always, not as always, when I haven't used it, it's gone boobs up. So, we're going to keep it where I don't do that. Because I'd like it to go nicely tonight. Um, but I have done jellyfish in the past, as most of you know. But I just wanted to have another go today. I just wanted to do something really loose. 
and fun and not have anything that required me to really concentrate because I'm absolutely shattered if I'm perfectly honest. Hi Jo, hi Helen. So, Spectrum Noir watercolour paper, 300 GSM, 9 by 12. We are using that today because it's my go-to and trusted. And then we're using the Spectrum Noir Aqua Tints. Let me zoom you in so you can have a look. So these are the Aqua Tint pots. And then I'm going to use my Da Vinci paintbrushes today. Um, I'm just using a mechanical pencil. Look at the state of this. You can see all the way through it. I've had this probably, well, when did I go to uni? 11, 12, 13 years ago? It's 13 years old and it's still my absolute favourite mechanical pencil. Nothing's beat it yet. So, I'm hoping you'll be able to see the sketch. I don't want to do it too dark, but I'll do it, fingers crossed, dark enough that you can at least see it, I hope. Um, okay, so we're just going to do the sort of jellyfish bowl shape that you get on the top. Too big, too big. <clears throat> too big I tell you let's just just go roughly I'm reckoning maybe it wasn't too big that size no because I want the trails to be okay let's let's have it further across rather than wider I think so let's come up up here oh I don't know no let's just I sort of have a vision in my head Sort of. Well, I'm going to press a bit darker so you can at least that come down a notch. I'll turn it up when I start painting. So when we do the bowl, we need to have a bit that bowls down or arches down. And then you need a bit that arches up if you want it to look like you're looking up and underneath a bit. So that's what I want, because we want to see where the tentacles sort of connect. It's only in my eye. And then... Uh, we want to... I keep making this mistake last time. See, I've, I quite like the idea of having this inner jelly. I did that last time, but I don't know whether I want to do it again. I might keep it. I can't decide. So I almost want to do it like somebody's bitten into an apple. That's probably too small. Let's go a bit bigger. Like so, and then we're going to need it the other side as well. Now his tendrils, or whatever you want to call them, are going to start coming out from here. So I need to draw that in now. Can you see that? You can just about see it. Thank you. Yeah, all locked off. <clears throat> A bit of a mess at the minute today but right so we've got like areas that come up a couple at the back I'm wondering if I should have drawn it on a3 now Yeah, so we just need to get rid of that straight line. 
I don't mind a bit of pencil showing underneath, but I don't want any straight lines showing. I have got the hairdryer ready just in case. I don't know, should we have that inner belly? I don't know if you guys can see what I mean. Can you see what I mean about the double? Do you like that double or do you think not? I think that's too wide. Let's get rid of that lot. I'm not feeling that at all. That's really annoying. What do you... Mm. Something's bugging me here and I can't work out what. That maybe? Yeah? Okay. Hi, Yaz. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Be warned, I'm armed. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. Maybe that's what's bugging me. It needs to come out from... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go, there we go, there we go. There we go. Bring that around a tiny touch. So what I'm going to do is I'm mainly going to use the paints to do the washes. And then I will probably look at bringing in the illustrators to do some fine detail. Um, I think I'll have to sort of go with the flow. But if I grab a few now, just in case... And then all I'm going to do is just give the really feathery ones just a bit of a wash. And then I'll go in and do the darker strands, I think. So now I did see one where they'd done the outside quite dark. So you could see the inside bit, which was fairly light I think and then they did the outside like a, a wash again outside which was quite dark which helped make the inner bit glow so I'm quite tempted to do that as well so I might have to get my amethyst colours out at the minute the colours I've chosen are the peony the fig and the moonstone so they're the three main ones that I'm going to use for the jellyfish and I think for the background, I'm going to need to use a mix of the amethyst and the aquamarine. It says I've got... Let's get the rest out. I picked up teacup, but yeah, teacup is too um, vintage looking. Oh, possibly starry sky, but then oh, I've got something in my eye. But then tonally, I don't think it works. I think we're going to have to have aquamarine and amethyst. If this goes all squiff, it's because I can't see for something in my eye. What on earth is that? I've just found that in my box, whatever that is. Amethyst. Amethyst. Be careful because that's leaked a tiny bit. Okay, let's get on with the painting then, shall we? I'm going to work dry, as always. I'm just going to lighten the sketch a tiny touch. So the plan is to do, oh, I should have left that out. Yeah, I'm going to do the inner one, Moonstone, I think. 
no I'm not, I need rose quartz, peony, rose quartz, okay, we're going to do the inner bit rose quartz. So if you haven't seen these before, I'm going to lighten you up a bit. That might be too light, but I'll check in a minute. They're just literally little pots of ink. Um, but they're really concentrated ink and they're dye based. Those of you who have watched plenty of these are well aware of the ins and the outs of what they are, what they're made of, etc. Oh, also I've got the glass pen out because I fancy giving that a go for some of the tentacles. Okay, so the Da Vinci brush, which is a purpose-built watercolour brush, is what I'm going to be using. And you honestly need, like, I'm barely putting the brush in there you need such a tiny amount it's ridiculous okay so come on you I've got 50 things open to make sure that I can see what I'm doing okay so let's do I want the inner bit of really light wash Still got a bit of purple on this brush from something by the looks of it so as i come down is that too bright it's a little bit too bright let's bring it down a tiny touch i've got the light shining right on it as well so apologies about that hi jen so we're just gonna wash that out Tiny touch more on the edge of the brush, and then I'm just going to go where we can just add a bit of not too much, but a bit of depth with the colour. You're not really going to see it until it starts to dry. I think we're going to, or I, I'm going to have to practice some patience as well because I think it's going to have to dry in between before I can start working on the next one. So can you see here already the difference between this and that centre bit? So we're trying to get it to look a little bit bulbous, a little bit rounded. Sorry, I'm hearing some very strange noises. They're so much fun to play with. They really are. I might be a little bit naughty, you know, and bring in some peony because the peony and the rose quartz make quite a nice pairing. So, I mean, that's in the lid. I'm literally just going to take a little bit off the lid hopefully that's not going to be too much and all i want to do is just capture some shadow here and there really there we go If you do it when it's wet, it just gives you a nice bit of subtle shadow without it being really garish on colour. <laughs> Hi Katie! Yeah, 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 you all know me and my patience. <clears throat> there is no such thing. Right, so 
what I, God knows what they're doing upstairs. What I need to try and do is get some of the blue to wash over to make it look translucent. Um, that's all right, you're a busy lady. By the way, I have done zero recording this week apart from the final part of the Patreon, which I still haven't finished ed editing because Coffee Man being on late means that, like now, they're mucking about upstairs. Um, I just haven't been able to get anything done. This isn't going to take too long to dry. So I'm going to go with the lightest wash, which is the Moonstone. Is that the Soft Jade? Yeah, the Moonstone. <laughs> yes, yes you do. I'm patient with people, not with making things. Well, I'm going to move to a bigger brush. Make sure there's no colour in it because apparently I can't clean my brushes very well. Might actually be too big, but we'll we'll give it a whirl. I'm going to take it from the lid because I don't want this wash to be very heavy. I'm going to leave a bit of spacing. A little bit of white in between, I think. The only reason I'm using these brushes tonight is because I wanted something that would hold the water better. Oh, honestly, it's been tragic how long it's taken. I'm really worried about doing this wash. I don't even know if it's going to work, to be honest. But we're, oh, I've got to do something. Okay, so the please work. It sort of does. I've got to catch up on everyone's new releases of the YouTube videos. I haven't had a chance to sit and watch them yet. Yeah, that works, I think. I could probably, well, once I start adding more shading, it will work a bit better. So, there we go. So, I'm going to let that just dry. Oh. <clears throat> oh, honestly, Katie, you ask anyone that knows me and whenever I say the word patience and me in the same sentence they'll have a laugh when it comes to claying when I used to do um, polymer clay canes and things like that because I have really hot hands I'd have to wait for it to cool down before I could start reducing the cane right we are going to use the purple to add the shadow Fan it. That's why I don't do oil painting. I couldn't be bothered. Yeah, exactly. Who's got the time, honestly? I'd get the hairdryer out, but I don't know if you'd put up with the noise. You happy for me to get the hairdryer out? I need to invent silencers for hairdryers, I think. Let's just do a very quick, I just want to reduce a little bit of that. Oh yes. That's worked, isn't it? It's here, ready and waiting. But a little bit noisy when you do it on a live right let me take it underneath the desk <laughs> i my lovely have put all the lids back on because yeah you learn your mistakes Thank you. 
definitely oh, that's probably dry enough that it will feather slightly but won't oh, paper's warping so because it needs to be dried a bit more but there goes my patience i might be able to get away with the moonstone again or shall i use the aquamarine oh let's go with the moonstone i want the fig or the peony i want the fig The really, really old school followers remember an accident that happened on a Facebook live feed with an entire pot of masking fluid. Said masking fluid and me were not very good friends after that. But I did rescue it quite well. And I managed to save quite a lot of the paper, actually, without it being too ruined, which I was quite impressed with. I'm going to wash up with that, actually. And then... Yeah, it was funny for you. Not for my however long we'd already been sat there doing it. What, half an hour, 40 minutes? You had to see the funny side of that, otherwise I just would have been crying all night, I think. Yeah. I'd done a head jog, and where I'd used the masking fluid to make all the lines for the head jog spikes, and... I don't even know how it happened, but we lost half the pot over the entire painting. So we had to start again. Was it that far in actually? Do you know what? I can't remember. Yeah. Masking pens are my friend. I tell you what, let's have a go with the glass pen. See what happens, shall we? I'm going to zoom you in. Can I do it one-handed? I don't think I can. Hang on. Oh, my shoulder. Okay. Are you in focus? No, you're in focus. Okay, glass pen has been dipped. I'm hoping, yes it is, it's doing that feather out, which is what I wanted it to do. Saves me any work, you see. I wonder if I find like here that it's needs feathering out more. So I love this stuff. <clears throat> I can just get my brush. And just blend it out. Soften it all up. I'm going to bring some of that up as well. Yeah, I love glass pens and they work so well with this ink because you can dip them into the pots and it's so lovely. But it's got that really lovely soft feathering out where it just, well, it's just yum. Yeah, like that. A tiny bit more that comes up, I think. We're starting to look like we are starting to look 3D now, aren't we? I think. Oh, they are seriously.
can close that gap off a little bit looking over there because i'm looking down down at the monitor because it just helps me get a better perspective I'm going to try and add a bit of shadowing underneath if I can without spoiling it. Because peony is quite a strong, no, fig is quite a strong colour. I love what it's doing here. Look at that one. Oh, loving it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm really, really pleased with the way it's coming out. This is why you should just like do these types of things and just have fun with it because you just never know what it's going to come out like i'm so pleased with the way that that's doing its thing there Might add a little bit more in there detail wise <clears throat> sorry for any cloth cloth throat clearing by the way it went to the doctors yesterday and they told me that um basically i'm still getting over a viral infection and it's been lingering which is why it's taking me so long to get over it i love the way the light looks like it's coming through at the back i'm gonna make that a little bit more punchier down here Yeah, that's what I really, really hoped I could I could get. That's what we wanted. Now I am still going to keep adding into this. There we go. Thank you, my lovely. Thank you, Katie. Thank you for joining me for a little while. <laughs> I will be sitting watching yours later tonight. Trying to catch up on everybody's. Oh, I've got paint down there now. Well, I'm just going to let that do its thing for now. And we're going to do the bottom. Have a good evening. I'm out of coffee. It's no fair. Right, I said I was going to do the aquamarine and the amethyst for the bit around the outside so I think for the tentacles that I'm going to use the soft jade and the moonstone then I will think about coming in with the peony later I'll see what happens bye hi Jackie okay so again this is the whatever it was I just said already I've forgotten the moonstone and the soft jade and I've got my biggish brush I'm just going to take a big splop of soft jade and don't disappear on me I've got my old my old um, jellyfish in front of me on my computer so I'm thinking yeah have you zoomed out enough no Let's go with the blue now. Mm. We need some big splops going on, don't we? Let's have some more jade. That's what we want. We need that jaggedy thing. Whatever you want to call it. And what's going to happen is, is from the bell, I'll put the strands in afterwards when everything's really, really dry. I know what I've done. I've come out too far. So I think if I've not messed it up too early. Move the pots away. 
Nah, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, and lift. Yeah, they've got some really cute names. I need to grab all that area, and I need to lift. need to grab that area again so you can recover from watercolors once it's down it doesn't mean to say it's the end of the world yeah they're just honestly their selection of colors are just stunning i'm going to take some of that out as well up there so all i'm doing is with a clean wet brush is applying water where i want to remove as much color as possible and then just with a bit of kitchen roll, lifting it up. Because I want it to be fat at the top and then going thinner at the bottom. It's almost like it's fading into the distance. I quite like that. Hi, thank you. Yeah, I quite like the way it fades. <clears throat> so let's take a little bit more off there I mean I am coming in with the background color anyway so it's not the end of the world but I want to be in a position where I can at least sort of understand where I'm at if that makes sense I think we need We need some dark in there. It's not quite, it's a really lovely. What is gonna go? What is gonna go? I don't think. Sage possibly. Sage, sage, sage. Let me just, yes, I'm painting on my desk sugar i nearly swore then i've just flicked flipping paint everywhere seriously bomb wake up like right there ah. there's no mistakes in art there's no mistakes in art that's too no that's no that was an aqua pen, by the way, if you're wondering what on earth I'm doing. I'm wondering if I need the aquamarine. Or do I go with the big? What I want to do is catch some edges. Kingfisher, possibly. I need to catch it while my paper's still wet. Kingfish is too dark. Peacock blue, I think is too blue. Hi, Vicky. Yeah, they, they do. Mm, that might possibly work actually let's do i want to risk it i just want some patches of wake up um just a little oh, you'll, you'll see what i mean as i bring them in I'm just going to brush them out and leave them. Hi, Rob. Thank you. 
not seen you in a while. Right, now I'm bringing the aquamarine out. And <clears throat> let's see. Oh, that goes nicely. Yes. Okay. The combo is nice, actually, because you get the depth from that previous colour. Oh, yes. Can you tell I'm getting excited? Loving it. Just need to get a bit more green in there at some stage. So I'm going to use the glass pen, as I say, to do the tentacles. So we're going to dip it into the ink. this hard edging here that is what I wanted to try and achieve so I think while that's drying although I do need some green I need some darker green or do I maybe I don't No, you probably can't see that very well, but it is working. There we go. Now, just so it's not so far apart from its body, I'm just going to add a little bit of green. Not much to the bell just to help bring the tones together really and I have got my Posca and my jelly roll to just add some highlights here and there <clears throat> might go in don't think we need any more of that green I think we could probably blend some of that up in a bit more again just to make it a bit more cohesive that that's the body hi Leslie okay yeah I'm quite happy with that Oh wow, when we were in Scotland years ago, and I am talking years ago now, they had an issue with a jellyfish infestation at the time and the locks were absolutely full of the just the standard like clear type jellies. But when you went to like the harbour and places, they were the big lion fish, lion jellyfish, the really humongous like the orangey and golden bell ones they were really really lovely right while this is drying we are going to do the oh god i do hope i don't ruin this uh let's take a picture before i potentially um make a mess <clears throat> Okay, no Bixby, I do not want to talk to you. I want to take a photograph. No, go away. Okay, so. So yeah, this is what it looks like before we add the background and potentially make a mess. Eek. Right. Just proof that it wasn't so bad to begin with. Right, the top is nice and dry. And as I said, we're going to use the amethyst. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-wet the paper. Hi. Hi. 
it's so nice to see loads of people on. So I'm going to pre-wet the paper. Using a bit of, using the number 10 brush now. I'm hoping that's not too, I'm going to leave a bit of gapping. I told you I couldn't clean my brush. Look, it's already got purple on it. So the colours I'm using are aquamarine and amethyst. Amethyst is a really strong colour. So I need to limit how much I use. So um yeah, let's let's see how this goes. Like, I have literally just barely dipped my... I'm filming some for TikTok, can you tell? That's how little you need of this colour. So I'm going to grab my aquamarine. And stop faffing and just blend it out now I probably could have done something a bit more earthier but I'm trying to get as close as I can to that without getting it too wet Fingers crossed. Don't mind it having a little bit of white actually. It's almost like a bit of a glow around it. And what I'll do if I can. Thank you. Hi Doris. Right, so I want to wash this background out as much as I can. There's going to be a lot of tissue paper going on at the minute because whatever do I do with it? <clears throat> First of all, let's put the caps on. gonna work for lack of a better term and then a really good way of when you do work with strong colors just to take some of the pigment out there you go see how much difference that makes just by doing that so if you're worried about pigments being too strong then you can just take that out. So now I can come back with the Moonstone, which is a bit more on, well, it's the same colour that we use for the body. So we can then get it to sit more comfortably as a family together. So I can add some of that in. I need to get some down here as well, actually. Quite like the little punches of purple around it. Go for it. What's stopping you? Right, I'm just going to use the wet brush technique. Um, I'm not going to do any splats for once, but I am going to do the wet brush technique. 
I've got an acrylic um, commission coming up actually and I'm quite looking forward to it but I am nervous because I don't often um, work in acrylic but there's something quite magical about watercolours isn't there oh look I need to zoom you in ba -ba -da -ba -ba. look at what it's doing look at that love it go for it Sorry, it's focusing on my arm. Look, isn't that beautiful? And up here, can you see it very well? It's quite wet, so it's reflecting. Where else can we see it? We can see it here. That's my favourite bit ever. I love it. You are like Benita, Sarah. There's no medium you can't use. Nobody knows if they can use a medium or not until they've had a go. Nothing stopping you. No one needs to see your mistakes. Put that away, and I didn't want to. I want to keep it. Right, the only thing I'm not sure about is that white around the top edge. So I might try and gently merge it in let's use a thinner brush and i tell you what if i grab for the sake of my sanity <clears throat> let me get some acetone instead of keep putting it on my acetone acetate come on i've got acetate here i know i have because i purposely kept it here acetate right acetate pen Squeaky. I'm going to bring you back in. I'm just going to pick some colour up off the acetate. And I just want to, I think I just want to close that gap off a little bit, really. It's a bit better. I can't believe how much it's buckled in the middle there. Actually, I might grab, let's grab some of the peony. Hi. Yeah, it's probably quite refreshing. Oh no, do I want peony? Oh no, I don't want peony. Luckily I've blooming well checked actually. I think I might want rose quartz. Rose quartz. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No, let's go with the blue. So indecisive. Often think it's a disaster, but then it turns. It really does, actually. And I know you guys have sat there on a live feed and you've gone, what the, nah, what is she doing? What, no, that looks horrible. And then by the end of it, you're like, well, actually, that's turned out all right. And, uh, yeah, I can hear you all down my camera, you know. That's better. That's better now it's closed off. Okay, I am going to pull the hairdryer out. So if the noise is going to irritate you, please just hit the sound button now um, because I just want to get as much dried as I can. Mm. Okay.
that's hurting my arm. So I'm going to unplug my mic until it's done. It's probably a little bit more, but if I don't ensure it's dry, when I come to do the tentacles and the details, it's going to feather too much and we're going to lose too much. So bear with me a sec. dry so that's where we are so far if you're going to use your hair dry use it on cold setting if you have it too hot it will curl your paper even more so just bear that in mind i'm just going to test these colors out so i picked out hydrangea yep i think that'll work Blue turquoise, I think that will work. I think that might be too dark. Let's try. Hmm. I think I went quite dark on my last one. Okay, I'm going to zoom you in a little bit just so you can see some details in focus. Yep. Okay. I just want a bit of definition, but I don't want to lose the softness that we've got from that watercolour. Absolutely loving these colours. find my other Posca pen and one of them doesn't work particularly well I don't really want to rely on the jelly rolls but if I have to I have to little bit in love with that thank you it's come out really really well actually i'm really pleased i love this sort of let's see how far i can zoom you in this this whole sharp edging that goes on that's what i love oh my god there is a horse there let me turn this round it's a 
it's something happening there look that is such an animal look there's its ear and there's its fur or mane and its body <gasps> that's so cool so at the minute i'm just adding the highlights you can see how soft it all is let's take off autofocus it's probably not a bad thing actually that um there is that bit of translucency to the Posca pen because sometimes it can be a bit too strong um, but on this it works really really well got about 50 messages going on at the minute go away right Yes, yeah, so I wanted to do something with more of a background because the first jellyfish I did years ago, although I really, really loved it, um, I felt it needed something a bit extra. I'm not going to do loads in the white, but I want to do the odd one just to give it a bit of feature i suppose Let's... Let's do some through just squiggly lines it's quite washed out through the camera it's got a bit more depth in it than it looks look if i darken it you'll see what i mean that's probably a bit more truer to the color so it's a bit more um darker a bit more vibrant but because i've got the camera up to so you can see <clears throat> what am i missing there's a bit Ooh, a bit of neon oh got a whole video to do on neon oh my god the picture is amazing i'm going to be drawing so i'm really looking forward to that hey sarah can you invite Benita to be a guest for the animal artist collective ah thanks i'm up for anything me i think there's a link to apply on the aac facebook group i have done I don't know whether I was allowed to or not. I'm sure I did. Um, no, it wasn't an animal arts collective. It was something else. Ignore that. Do you have to have so many followers on YouTube? The who, what, where, gosh, I'm nosy. Yes, 500 subscribers. Okay. Right, are we ready to go in with these dark ones? Because I'm not. And I'm sort of scared. Okay. These these are the middle ones. Oh, it's a really good way to make them look translucent. You can barely see it. Good for these back ones actually. Um Do some straight ones as well. Right, we definitely need darker ones because they're just getting lost, aren't they? bit of connective tissue up the top mm. 
I was such a wuss last night. I don't know what the weather was like where you were, but it was horrendous here. And our lights kept dipping and I didn't want to be in the office and have something end up crashing on me in the middle of doing work. And the noise was just awful in the office. Like really strong, because obviously it's only made of wood. So uh, uh, yeah, I turned into a big whistle. I was like, nope, going in the living room. I'm not working in here. No, funny enough, Maggie asked me about it the other day and I went, no, I completely forgot about it, but I can just get it on iPlayer. Do you know what? We're going to use the purple. Let's add some definition. Who says it needs to look real, hey? I think we can afford to be a bit more darker under here. Loving it. Oh yes, bit of depth going on there. Oh, I'm getting so excited today. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bit of shadowing underneath why don't I just use the brush tip I have to be careful because it's going to reactivate the water underneath well that's just done it oh yes thank you yeah, it stayed upright. Do you know what? There wasn't even a branch that fell off it, which really surprised both of us. Hubby went up and checked in the morning when we checked on the bunny and it didn't even look like a branch had fallen off. Scares me, that does. Okay, let's, let's, let's go in and just be brave, shall we? And hello, by the way, Tony. Oh, I'm falling in love with it. I need more of a blue blue, I think. So I'm gonna have to get the... <clears throat> by the way, I have every classic now bar one. Um, so I just need to get the illustrators sorted. What else have I missed? Have I missed a challenge of something? Has anyone seen the oil painter on YouTube called Daria? I, I don't think I have. Oh, you're just as green. I want something blue. Okay, let's try... No. Let's try the cerulean. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Well, you probably can't see unless it's close up, but I'll I'll give you a close up in a minute. I'm not going crazy, I promise. I'm just trying to add a bit of contrast because if you don't have the contrast on there, it's not going to Layer up up here a bit more. And I think we can afford one last punt.
just darkening as it comes up to the bell because it gets a little bit lost up this area I think I might go over the white ones in a minute as well Okay, where's my pot? Um, I don't think the jelly roll make much difference, but tiny bit, not much. Oh, that was a bit um, overflowy. Hopefully that's not a bad thing. No, it's not actually. Might be a bit stronger over here, I think. Okay, I'm not doing any more on the jellyfish, I don't know going to ruin it. <clears throat> so I am a little bit in love with it, and I think I'm going to have to scan it in. P.S. The original is going to be for sale. So message me on any of the social media if you're interested. Let me zoom out as far as I can, which is actually where I am right now. Please don't break on me. And let's get used. There we are. Not quite. So I am going to zoom in so you can have a quick look. And you have a good rest of the evening. So this is what we like. Let me bring down the colour slightly so you're looking at it a bit more like I am. There we are, that's more the tones that I'm looking at. So there's the bottom, we're just going to work our way. Oh, do you know what I'm going to have to do? Sorry guys. I need to make a uh, thumbnail. So if I turn my second cam off for a sec. There. There you go, that's my thumbnail. And then we're going to carry on. And that's pretty much it. I thoroughly enjoyed that. And can you believe once we minus all the faffing and talking and mucking about, that probably took an hour. So I'm impressed with that because I really need another cup of coffee. So yeah, I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. And all that from a few pens and a few pots of colours. Who knew, eh? Who knew? Well, thank you very much for joining me. And as usual, please don't forget to hit the like button because it really makes a massive difference to my algorithms and whether or not this video gets recommended to other people and whether I get seen on the channel. If you are watching and you haven't subscribed and you want to find out some more bits on Spectrum, I have tons of Spectrum videos with all tips and advice. And yeah, hit the share button as well. All of those really, really help. So I really appreciate it if you do. Don't forget to hit the bell button to get notified of every time I do go live as well. And I'm going to take another little sneak peek video from my TikTok account. Come find me on there if you're not on there already and yeah that's pretty much it for me so thank you everybody for watching and joining me have a good evening afternoon morning whichever it may be and i shall see you in the next video bye